Okay, I'm stupid and I forgot. The secret is that you just squeeze. Once you get the item you want, you can just squeeze through. Um, they get really annoying because you get stuck at that last place and they just spawn almost immediately. But now we have night body armor. Um, how, does it say how much? Yeah, damage reduced by 15%. So what is the lightweight? Just 15? Yeah, what we actually really need though is at the well, throw a chocolate bar, night body armor into enchanted night body armor. And that makes us 80% resistant to damage. But the damage inflicted is divided by two. But we should be fine with that. Um, I'll just heal up quickly here. A nice thing is that you can heal up Nikwes with potions and then just leave. Unfortunately, the you can reduce the cooldowns, which is actually really neat. But uh, I wanted to be very sure I had enough attack power. Um, we can also go straight to the dragon, which is kind of nice. Let's. Oh wait, before we challenge that. I want to stand still. I want a challenge. Oh, so you want challenge? I think you should find a trip. You should make a trip to hell itself. It's known that the devil is a tough challenger. Jump on my back and I'll take you there. Let's go then. This is, this is reasonable. Oops. That is exactly not the spell I meant to cast. Yeah, you just you just sit here and you cast black demons. Oh wait, actually this is a bad place to stand. Um, what I meant to do is stand over here, right there. Uh oh. If you stand right here, oh dang, my health is actually a little low. Um, stand right here. He just dumps all of his little peoples straight into the lava, which is so cruel. Also, we get candies for that. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, what really matters here is being able to kill the devil. This actually goes a lot faster if we get that magic buff, so I think I'll, I'll probably get a couple levels of that, because I don't... I think there's at least a couple more enchantments that I need, and I'm not sure if there's any more chocolate bars, unfortunately. We'll be able to get more chocolate bars before too long. Um, should probably be the last video. Yeah, there goes the devil! I killed the devil himself with demons. We found a strange stone and we got two million candies. We get a million from the uh, the demon lord that was floating around and one from another million from the devil. Um, now that I have a million candies, you know what? I want your hat. Give me your hat. You're bald now. Look at you. Look at your patheticness. Anyway. What does the hat do? Why would I waste a million candies on it? The hat multiplies by seven the candies you find in quests. So now we can get 14 million candies from the devil. And to make that a little bit easier, we're just gonna eat all this million. So now we have a lot more health. Unfortunately, we don't heal very fast. Actually, wait, I forgot something in, um, in last video. I didn't go to this room, did I? Hello, horrible bird monster. I'm just gonna, oh, dead. So yeah, the, the trick here is that it kills you anytime you have, um, you, uh, damage the eggs. So all we really gotta do is spoop over them without a weapon and without anything that casts, like, random damage, and we'll be fine. You open the chest and you find a strange stone. We have, we have two strange stones now, don't we? Oh wait, I have to leave. Yeah, one of the strange stones you get from the devil. Stone. So that's that's mysterious, isn't it? Um, back to the map. Oh right. And unfortunately, we need to talk to this guy. Dragon told me to come here because I want candies. Oh, I see. Well, I cannot provide you with candies directly. I can give you something essentially for you to ultimately get a lot of candies. I just need to test you before that. Because I can't give what I, what I have can't be given to just anyone. Solve this puzzle and it will be yours. Uh, so this is like super freaking annoying. Um, there's a guide for this. Um, uh, candy bucks to 
puzzle. Okay, why is that one six minutes? Okay, so yeah, this is really freaking annoying. Oh, this one's really fast. Okay, that's why the other one was six minutes. Let me just slow this down. Half speed. So yeah, we... I don't know why somebody doesn't just list out the moves. Does, does anybody do that in the comments? Okay, um, first cube click should be a VT block, and expand the chain of Vs to get to the, there we go. Make a T block by clicking the center block. What? I don't think I was supposed to do that. Is it supposed to say that? I hate this puzzle. This puzzle is super freaking annoying. Uh, VT block, expand up. Make a T block by clicking the center block. What do you mean the center block? Oh. Move the T block along the one block underneath. Underneath the thing. I think I screwed up already. I, I hate this puzzle. This puzzle is so freaking annoying. Um, so what we've got to do is expose a bunch of these question mark, question mark, block. we have to feed one of these charges to it, basically. And how that works makes no sense at all, basically. So yeah, we, we need, like, when we click the charge, the charge goes out in every direction that this points to. Huh? That didn't refeed it. I think I screwed up. I'm just gonna do this off camera. I hate this puzzle so much. It's so awful. Oh my god. It wouldn't be too bad. Like, the, the, the logic makes sense, sort of. But you never know when you're in a fail state. Well, like, it's hard to know when you're getting into a fail state. It's, it's, just, it's just awful. The, 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 there's walkthroughs online, so just look there instead of this, if you want that. Okay, there it is. I guess it wasn't really too awful. I, I found a much, MUCH better tutorial. Or like, you know, guided thing. Th there's this guy that has a six minute one, and he's like clicking around like whoop, 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 And then sometimes he's just like, uh, um, D? D? And it's like entire minutes that's just wasted. So this one I found is two minutes, and it's just fast enough. And, and then the other guy had, he offered a slow down one, and it was a half hour long, oh my god. Um, ugh. Anyway, I, I, unbelievable. See, so yeah, that, that really wasn't too bad with the guide, but yeah, the, the, the thing is, like, I, I can see how the logic kind of goes. But then again, it's kind of dumb. Once you get the heart piece things that, like, regenerate energy, it, it gets to be kind of easy, but one, finding two of those in a row is the hard part of the puzzle, really. Um, Alright, so what we got from that is the pea stone. So we got three stones. So... Well, let's go fight the devil again. Wait. First, let's put on his boots. I should probably get some of the the magic time reducer thing. Oh, right. Get, cast the devil. Okay. The devils are really freaking annoying. It, 
In my first playthrough, I had way better ability to uh, cast spells before this. Get, get out of here. Get, get out of here. Health really shouldn't be too much of an issue, but yeah. I, I'm gonna go ahead and use those last two Pinau Chocolates. And we should be able to find this a bit faster that way. I don't think- wait! I can only use one, because I need- there's an item I need, unfortunately. To, uh, in order to get uh, a different item. Oh, please kill the thing to kill the- no! We only get half as many candies this way. Yeah, this is why being able to spam the demons is a lot more useful. Unfortunately, I think we're out of chocolate bars. We can make... We can make one. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. And... Get more magic. More magic just means your cooldowns are faster. Uh, I believe it makes your potion cooldown faster too. But yeah, now we have enough to get that scythe. It took several months to make the scythe. It's a real work of art. It's probably the fastest weapon you'll ever be able to use. Good luck. So yeah, scythe. Pretty dang ding dang good. Um, but yeah, we wanna... We wanna throw a chocolate bar into the well to get the Tribal Spear of Summoning. And I may actually do a, like a, a, a fast forward segment for this. Um, oh dang it, I forgot to equip a weapon. Okay, yeah, because I, I used the weapon I was using. So yeah, Summoning Spear. This part's really boring. Um, the anti-gravity potion won't help us get up there. The anti-gravity just stops your movement. You don't, like, it doesn't remove, like, it doesn't really remove gravity. Like, you can't just use inertia to flow all the way up. Uh, this is actually a lot faster. If the, the way I did it the first time was that I didn't use the, um, whatchamacallit, the, the boots of introspection. What I did was, um, I just kept teleporting backwards and used the normal boots. Um, this turns out to be a really horrible way to do this. I think... I'll just play it a little safe. Alright, so that should be tall enough. So there we go. Basically we need to just climb all the freaking way up there. And since we have the teleport, uh, if we end up too close to the wall, we can just reset and go back. Uh, yeah, I guess this is a good time to talk about something. Isn't this nice foreboding music for this incredibly boring task? I think you can also do this with the octopus, the other octopus king crown, but um, I think it's a lot more tedious. Um, even more tedious than this, is that imaginable? But yeah, I think it's like they it's more awkward with that one. I've never actually used that item, to be honest. Yeah, there's some items that you'll probably not actually see me use, like uh, the obsidian wall, not very useful. Uh, I'm not even sure when you would want to use it, I can't think of any valid use off the top of my head. But uh, for the final boss, we really, what we need is the scythe, we need that damage up, we need the item in this chest, we need turtle potions, and that's really about it. Yeah, just a few more. Yeah, this is definitely faster this way than it was the way I was doing it the first time. Alrighty, yeah, we should... Yep, we'll be good. I'm not sure what happens if they spawn in front of you and you can't get in the chest. I would probably scream and cry. But yeah, we got the rocket boots! The rocket boots allow us to... These awesome rocket boots allow you to jump in midair, so basically you're flying. Um, yeah, we... There's a couple items we're missing. I forget exactly where some of them are, actually. But yeah, we can do this puzzle now. Much easier. Oh, I'm summoning this I, I, I don't need the summoning thing. Oh, actually, wait. Well, I guess I may as well get the item in there. But yeah, that... Unfortunately... Wait, can I just keep summoning the demons? Oh man, that's, that's gonna take forever. Um, what did I find? Oh, we got the unicorn horn. Uh, but yeah, you'll see, I think it took 10 seconds before, and now it takes just, uh, 8, I believe? Oh, this doesn't, this isn't too bad. It, uh, could be worse. 
Because it, it's... See, so yeah, we're attacking... It doesn't even show what this thing is called. Uh, it'll show it once we kill it, though. It's fortunately really large, so it takes damage, lots of damage per second from the demons. Also, if you kill a bunch of different things with the demons, you'll notice that each of the demons has a different randomly generated name. It's kind of a neat touch. So let's say, like, X was killed by the demon And, you know, so on. Some nice, peaceful... Oh, right, it's a Xenohyphirion, yes. This is some nice, peaceful Xenohyphirion killing music. Oh my gosh, you jerk. You, you... Now like there's like... A kind of like a name, I guess, or something. You find a strange claw in the Xeverion's corpse, even though we're not anywhere near there, but whatever. See, so yeah, let's see what we got there. We got the Unicorn Horn, which gives you healing powers, which um, it actually helps your active... Um, your healing between quests, too. Um, this horn belonged to a unicorn. You heard this unicorn was named Charlie. So yeah, it's Charlie the Unicorn once again. We also found the Xferion Claw, which doubles the damage of the weapon you're using. So yeah, that'll be useful. I think we want... We don't want the damage reduction of this armor. Actually, speaking of damage reduction, let's... Um, actually... I think that pot will still take too long. But yeah, let's... Let's get some more b armor. Oops, that was an anti-gravity potion. Not that. I always get my fingers on the wrong keys when playing this game. Oh, you found full of body armor? Alright. So yeah, we just carved through these guys, like, ridiculously. Oh dang, those guys give an insane amount of candies. I didn't realize they gave that many. That's nuts. Um, but it's nothing really anymore because we can fight the devil. But, uh, yeah. I like how this one's kind of shortened because it wouldn't fit otherwise. We have a bunch of lollipops, so we can't quite... Hmm. We don't have the sorceress's hat, though. I forget what it even does. It's not... It's not important. We need... We need even more candies before we can get that. Um... I think we're pretty much ready to take on the developer. But first, we need... The most unlikely of potions. Or perhaps the most likely of potions, because we needed it last time. Um... The turtle potion. So I'm just going to make a hundred of these, just because. Put all that. Mix during more or less 10 seconds, so 9 seconds. And another 5,000 candies. Mix. A few seconds, put into bottles. Made a hundred turtle potions. All right, I really hope this works. It might not. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's make sure our gear is ready. Rocket boots, night body armor, pink gloves. Oh, I didn't even use the scythe. I completely forgot about the scythe. Um, let's just use the Octopus King crown with Jaspers, just to do a teeny bit more damage. And let's go for fame. The best way to become famous is to face the developer himself. I know where he lives, I could take you there. Be prepared, this won't be easy. I am ready. Oh man, he looks really... He looks way better in the, the black and white. Yeah, you can kind of see his face. This is the reason we wanted that attack uh, buff. If you have... With no attack buffs... Um, this boss does not seem to die fast enough. Um, his second text message always kills me. But yeah, is the quest and keep what we found. What did we find? We found the Y stones. We have play. We have all of those stones. And, well, uh, we can probably kill this nougat monster too. I completely forgot about him, honestly. You found a strange stone and six million candies. Oh, I don't need, I, I guess we can go fight the developer, but yeah. For, I guess, the, I think the, if you can beat the developer, he's the best way to get candies. Otherwise, it's the, de the devil. But yeah, you really want a f at least a few pano chocolate, uh, pano chocolate, is that how you say that? I don't know. Um, 
You, I think you need at least 80% more attack, which is only four pen on chocolate. But, uh, what's this? Play. We got it. We got, we got a little, we got a little candy. What's, what's this? A talking candy. This talking candy appeared after you put the four stones at the top of the tower. It might help you to open the box. Okay, let's open the box. Hey, I'm the talking candy. Congratulations, you won the game. I'll open your candy box for you. This is your reward. Shall I proceed? Yes. Done. You can now enter it. I hope you like the game. The computer. Let's boot it up. Booting GNU Candy System 4.2. Analyze memory. Checking every piece of the system is free software. Okay. Press return to continue. Um, help. Uh, uh, help me type. Help. So available commands. I have the the mic is in front of the keyboard, which was poor planning on my part. Um, there are probably no hidden commands, I guess. Add bug help. Add ass. Add ass. Um, add one thousand chocolate bars. What? Add help. What? Hope add. Add 1,000 chocolate bar. What do you mean? What do you mean? Add quantity resource. Add 1,000 chocolate. Oh, this is just exact. This is exactly as useful as real command line software. Um, what the? F <laughs> Why did that work, but not the chocolate bar? Add one chocolate bars. This command was misunderstood. What is your deal? Why can't I add the one thing that I actually want to add? <laughs> you successfully added a billion lollipops. What? Why doesn't this work? Am I misspelling chocolate or something? Why does this not work? Candy bar to add. Why doesn't this work? Oh my god, you can't put the space in. That's so freaking stupid. <sighs> Get out of here, computer. I hate you. The arena. You killed the tree with a scythe. That's so metal. That was the hardest quest ever. Hardcore platformer, uh oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That is not happening. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't work. Okay. Okay, I'm not doing that. Sorry, that's, that's not happening. Um, inside the box. Oops, I forgot to check that! You won! You now have all the sweets in the world! So yeah, that's what the computer does, I guess. But yeah, we have we have all of the sweets in the entire world. We got a cute little ending animation. Uh, so just a few things left we can do. We can go get that hat. Uh, buy the hat. One billion lollipops for me! But I don't have a hat anymore. But one billion lollipops? Wow! It was worth it. What does it do? It will enhance the effects of your spells and potions. That's nice. Um, what else can we do? Yeah, we can buy a bunch of lolly gators, feed them with candies. Why aren't the lolly gators appearing? Oh wait, there you go. Yeah, like like I said, as you increase them, eventually it goes to you know thousands per second. But 
since we have access to the computer, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, now that we have a ton of... Oh, wait. You can get a bunch of uh, pan au chocolate at the uh, thingy. And then we can go here to the wishing well. The coolest thing you can get from the wishing well is get a ton of magic. It'll eventually stop you, and then you have... It adds at 15% each time, and the cap is 90% uh, reduction in time. You can also add some more health if you want. Yeah. It seems like the most effective thing is that attack power buff. But yeah, let's... I have 0.2. I love that 0.2 on my health. That's exactly what I need. Um, oh, wait. See, now I can cast black demons every second. Oh, wait. I forgot to put on... Yeah, th This is what you need to do if you don't have... Um, if you can't kill the developer yet and you need more candies, what you can do is put your boots on and just frickin' spam demons. Oh wait, I should probably heal. Why do I heal so slow? Yeah, you just spam demons. I love the devil at 666 health. Apparently, um, Magus, when you fight Magus as a boss in um, Chrono Trigger, he has 6,666 hit points. Um, just a cute random fact for you. But yeah, we've bought pretty much everything. This house is always locked. This, this house is a lie. You, you can never get in there. Um, what else is there to do? Alright, we can fight the teapot. Uh, do I have... Let's try to kill it the fastest way possible. Oh, right, and we can go get some items that we didn't get before. Like, uh, you can enchant almost every piece of weapon and piece of equipment, I guess. I guess... Hmm. <clears throat> the spoon? I don't know when you would need the spoon. I think there's a hard mode in this game. I forget how do you... Does the computer unlock hard mode? I know there's a hard mode. Let me just double check hard mode. Hard mode is a ch hard challenge for after or before you beat the game. In hard mode, eating candies does nothing but increase your HP regeneration rate. Interesting. Cyclops still says because eating them is good, you're good. Yeah. How do you start hard mode? Oh, it's just a link. So I think you have to do text saves. But yeah, hard mode is just the second, um, it's just a second link. It's just game mode equal hard. I'll, I'll put a link to both in the description. Yeah. Oh, right. I think we can just summon demons and maybe this will kill us faster. Look at my amazing health stat. That is exactly how health stats should be represented. This is why you always store everything as a float. Floats are very good variables for very good numbers. Okay, this is gonna take too long. But yeah, all that's in the, the, the teapot is a giant spoon. And if you enhance the giant spoon um, with a chocolate bar, it has the highest DPS in the game. But I don't think it's actually very different from the scythe. So, um, we can also throw chocolate bars. We can get red enchanted gloves. That just throws random fireballs, but they're a lot weaker than the ones from the octopus thing, so it's not very useful. Uh, Monkey wizard staff uh, enchanted does like twice as much fireball damage. Octopus king crowned with obsidian just summons clones of the octopus king. Not very useful. Um, you can also s enhance that s the spoon, like I just said. And I think that's about it. We're missing a few items. Um, there's an item in the sea. Well, let's take one last look at the sea. Uh, the sea is unfortunately very annoying. Um, it's like, it's all random. But yeah, eventually in the sea you'll find sharks with colored fins, and those upgrade... Um, they give you a black hole spell, which I guess... If you're stuck at the developer, I think the black hole spell will help you defeat him. Because it, uh, when you, the developer, the reason the developer is hard, is if you cast any spells... Uh, or do anything pretty much other than the, the turtle potion, I think maybe any potion. But if you cast a spell on the developer, he casts the black hole spell, and it does like 500,000 damage, or like, it does like about half of his health, I guess. And, um, it instantly kills you. 
I think it does the damage to him first though, but I've never gotten his health low enough without the damage buffs anyway to uh, actually kill him that way, like with his own damage. But uh, if you use all of your chocolate bars, you can get slightly stuck again in that boss fight. And then you have to do... Wait, is that a th thing? Is that... What is that? Oh, shell powder! That's where the shell powder is! Okay, so the thing I read just before this was lying. They said you have to fight a shark for the shell powder. But no, you can just randomly get that shell powder with, um, with the incidental fireballs, I think is how I accidentally got it. The sea serpents, I don't think you can kill. Yeah, eventually these sharks start to have colored fangs, I think. Yeah, you want to use a race magic whenever the sea serpents come up, because they um, they deal insane damage. Like even with five thousand health, there you go, there you go. Okay, I've actually haven't gotten these items before, but yeah, you always want to dodge the shark or the thing. Also, your health can't go above about um, fifteen thousand without chocolate bars or penal chocolate. But yeah. So, there's three different colored fin sharks, and um, one of them, the one that's relevant for the developer, the blue, the purple fin one, uh, takes the longest to appear. So this is just constantly loops until you randomly get the um, the shark that you, the, the purple shark. I, I think I'll give it, I'll give it one more minute, and I'll. Bit. We've seen pretty much seen though. You just go right through it, huh? Oh, there's the there's the blue one or the the green one. You know you know colors. Colors are, you know, I, I understand colors. Uh, I've I've seen colors all my life. I can't let them know I'm colorblind. <clears throat> I'm not colorblind. I, I don't think there's any kind of colorblindness that would actually result in seeing green as blue either. That's sort of a telltale. But yeah. There's, there's very specific types of color blindness. Well, there is um, there is actual monochromia, but it's very rare. Usually, it's red green, what we call red green color blind, where uh, well, it's hard to tell the difference between red and green, and also yellow. Red, green, and yellow are all very similar colors with that particular sort of color blindness. But uh, and purple looks like blue because you know the red of it is basically gone. So yeah, makes sense. I don't think we're gonna find this other freaking. Oh dang! See, those things hurt. If you don't erase the bullets. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find this. Well, they're coming. The sharks are coming faster now. I just, 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 just give me the purple shark, okay? It, it keeps accelerating, so I think that's a good sign, I guess. Also, it keeps hurting more. That's great. I'm just gonna keep erasing bullets constantly, I guess. I just want the the, the the black hole spell. I don't... The black hole spell hurts everything, including you. So it's very often not really useful. Like, I don't think there's any use for it other than the, the developer. Like, I guess theoretically, maybe you could use it against the devil, but there's already simple strategies that don't require this ridiculous grind to get. But it's actually kind of neat that there are these, like, things you really don't quite need to do. Because it, it gives this feeling of, you know, a, a world with lots of stuff to do. Cause like there's a few items we didn't get. I think, I think all of the items we didn't get are under here though. Yeah, under the sea. We're not gonna find that purple shark, are we? We're just gonna float in here forever. This is hell. This is the real hell. That hell where we killed the devil. You know, that, there's nothing wrong with that place. But just floating around here, looking for the purple fin shark. This is real hell. Oh my gosh, that, 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 that stupid snake hurt so much. Oh, we finally died. You, fortunately, you do get to keep things, because the that level is endless. Yeah, we're only missing the purple sh <laughs> Red. Green. Oh hey, it brings the power of nature to your lollipop farm. And this greatly increases the fireball spell. Finally, this fireball becomes useful. Let's see how much the fireball spell does now. Just, just to see. Um, let's fight the new boot monster. How much does it do? It only does like three times the damage it used to do. 
But yeah, that that is candy box too. I don't think there is a candy box three, but yeah, th this came out not too long after the original candy box, I think. I, I kind of didn't play it at the time. I actually just played it for the first time uh, last week, because like, I played Candy Box One. But uh, yeah, very cool extension of the original game's concept. Uh, 